Publican. Publican? Yeah. Okay. I thought that's what you said. Publican. All right. Uh, six chapter. What you got something else? No, I got something on the... Uh, All right, go ahead. Giants. So, the, so does that word tie into the actual word Republican? Like... No, no yeah, I, I believe... We can look the word up. I believe it means... I think it was an officer of the uh, tax collector, I believe it was. Oh, okay. Tax collector for the Romans. Yeah, kind of. Publican. It's cool. We, we gotta get into it. Let's go. What's up? Genesis 6, Genesis 6 and 9. Uh, we'll start from verse 1. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> this is Genesis chapter 6, verse 1. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them. The sons of the Most High saw the daughters of men. Now, you gotta understand who the sons of God are. The sons of God are the Israelites, okay? But, 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 but during this time, we weren't being called Israelites. We, right. we were being called sons of God. All right? okay. And then when the table, when the, uh, the Lord started dividing the nations in the Genesis the tenth chapter, okay, He started dividing the nations in the tenth chapter. That's when the, the lineage of Israel came to, came, came about. Because in the, in the beginning, you had the serpent, which were the sons of the wicked, okay. Then you had the rest of the other nations, which were just known as trees, and then you had the sons of God, all right, which that was uh, Adam, Eve, and the, the multitude of uh, other people that were there with. Him. All right? Wait, but wait, the sons wait. Of it, God, was, it was other people. There were other people there. Okay, give me uh, the fifth chapter. So they were the first two. Adam. They were, they were, they weren't. The, they were, they, they were a part of a nation, Adam and Eve. They weren't the only two people on the earth. No. Right. Uh, Five Adam. Generations of Adam. Three. Reverse is that. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, Genesis five and one. Right, this is Genesis. Uh, wow, Genesis five and one. This is the book of, of the generations of Adam. Yep. In the day that the Most High created man, in the likeness of, in the likeness made he him. Yeah, in the likeness, what it means by the likeness is means he gave the Adamites, okay, which were a nation of people, which you're about to find out, the commandments, all right? And it was given to us oral, orally. Oh, right? that's what the likeness, that's the what likeness, likeness meant. The image, all right, the breath, the breath of life. Yeah, they, yeah it's right? the commandments. So it's not our face. Well, it's, 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 part, it's part of it, but it's, it's referring to the, the law, the law, the law of commandments. Male and female, because <clears throat> up in the heavens, when the, when they um when, when they t take a, a physical form, they will they will look like us. They will look like uh, well, of course greater a greater statue, but they will be dark brown skin and woolly hair. Right? In the spirit, because when you read Revelations, the first chapter would describe the Lord. Yeah. That's actually the Lord in the spirit, not in the flesh. Right? Can you, when, when, when he's finished that, can you read that for that Yeah, that's the Lord in, in his, actually in the spirit. Right? Male and female created him. The, the Lord was already crucified already. And John saying he seen him. So he was oh, seeing him John in, in the spirit. Oh, John saying he saw him again. Oh. Yeah, oh. that was Revelation's first oh, that, chapter. That was him, okay, exactly. okay, that was him in spirit. And called their name Adam in the day when they were created. Read that again. This is uh, Genesis 5 and 2. Male and female created he, he them. Male and female created he them. Go ahead. And no. blessed them. And blessed them. And called their name Adam. And called their name Adam. So Adam and Eve, they were they were called basically Adamites. They were Adamites. All right. And the key words is them. Yeah, exactly. Them. You go. Their. Yo, I just yo, yeah. I I've read that verse a couple of times and I didn't even pay that. Yeah, we did the same thing. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. I mean, the elders showed us and then it, it was just clear, you know. Um, all right, go back to uh, six. Uh, this is uh, Genesis six and one. It came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of the Most High saw the daughters of men. Yeah, the sons of the Most High, okay, which are the sons of God, the Adamites, okay, Adamites, seen the daughters of men, okay, which were the, the other nations, okay. When you see the, the word children of men, the majority of the time when you see children of men, it's referring to the other nations. Okay. Uh, so the, the so it's basically. The, the the royal sea started mixing with the uh, the, the, the the other nations, oh, okay. which we're, we're not supposed to uh, really mingle with the other nations. That's why the royal sea on that called, level. Okay, that's, that's why the royal sea is called the sons of God, and everyone else. Yeah, kind. Men. But 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 it's more it's more to it. Okay, it's more to it. We're not supposed to marry them. We, we can we can deal with them. But during this time, the, the Lord was was trying to pre preserve the, the the sea of the sons of God, and not we, we wasn't supposed to all mingle together. All right. Because once you start mangling together, you're gonna start worshiping the other nation's God. Right. That's what happened to Solomon. Yeah. Right? Instead of building up idols to the other gods, the other women that he was dealing with. Okay. Not because he was dealing with the woman, but but because he started to marry. Her. And you're only supposed to keep his concubines. That's right. Okay, just to have sex with. You can do that to the other nations. And have a side piece or whatever to yeah. the other nations, but not to the uh, the Israelite. Well, you got some? Yeah, yeah. Right. 
he just uh, read the, the Sons of God, right? Yeah. I'm gonna link that up to him being Israelites. Basically. Huh, yeah, I'm about to ask you to get that. Yeah. Uh, Psalms 82 verse uh, six. Okay, yeah. And basically, really, <laughs> the Adamites they were Israelites anyway, because the word Israelite the means uh, the, the the prince of, the, of of God. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what Israel means. It means uh, he he's a prince of God. Okay. So, so the sons of God, okay, are the uh, the princes of God. The Adamites. Yeah. Okay. Psalms 82 and 6, I have said ye are gods. I have said ye are gods. Go ahead. And all of you are the children of the Most High. And all of you are the children of the Most High, okay? That's referring to Israel, okay? But during this time, we weren't being called Israelites. We were being called Adamites and the sons of God. Right. Yeah, and the word children, if you look it up in the, in the Hebrew, is uh, bond, which means son. So the sons of God. Yeah, yeah. The majority of the time when you, you see children in the Bible, it's, when you look the word up in the Hebrew, the word there is son. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. So when they so, refer to children, they're talking about the children of Israel, is because it's up to us. We're the ones that, that are the leaders, and we're responsible for our household. Right. So if we need to get destroyed, our whole household is going to get destroyed. Right. <clears throat> Says verse two that the sons of the Most High saw the daughters of men mm -hmm. that they were fair. So they started mixing with the other nations. Go ahead. And they took them wise of all which they chose. Took them wise. Okay. They weren't supposed to do that. They were, oh, they were only supposed to be concubines. They made, right. uh, a concubine is supposed to be on a lower level. Okay. Exactly. Are you yeah. just here for one purpose and exactly. go back to where you came Exactly. Okay. <laughs> she might service you, clean the house or whatever, and then she got to do what she got to do. Another, another part of the house or go back to her house. Okay. But your, your, your woman is on a higher level. Israelite woman is on a higher level. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with men. Meaning that it was a point where we lived like 900 years, right. 500 years. Yeah. So the Lord took that spirit away. Right? What? For that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be in 120 years. So the Lord put that spirit so the majority of the time, virtually 100% of the time, you ain't going to get past 120 years old. And the reason why people live a long time now is because they use some pharmaceutical drugs yeah. to stay alive. You know the precept, if you're smart, you went out of it. Hey, you nah, know, now that you mentioned it, I, I've, I've never heard of anybody, even the oldest person in Guinness Book of World Records, <laughs> nobody was, they always get that cutoff point, like right before 120, yeah, it was so like 110, 114, what I, I, you know, it's just, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, uh, that, that, that's pretty much it. That's all you want? You read the Giants? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. How does the Giants tie into that? Verse 4. There were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of the Most High came in unto the daughters of men. Now, we got, you have to learn the Hebrew. You got some people that, that, that say that the Hebrew is not important. But if you don't know the Hebrew, oh, yeah. you're going to think that's talking, talking about like 100 foot people and everything like that. When you look at the word giant, giants, I believe it means uh, mighty man. Okay? That, that's not referring to. Uh, like a cyclops or something like, nothing like that. Cause that's, that's the image that we used Giant to have in our head. Stuff, you know? yeah, yeah. Like, like a cyclops. Even though men in the ancient world were, were big, like 10, 15 feet tall and everything like that. Yeah. But it's not it's not talking about um, actual like cy cyclopses and, and freaks, of, freaks of nature. Yeah, men right? is 40 feet but, tall. But, but it's just referring to uh, men as a statue, you know, really, really tall, muscular men. Yeah, basically when you look it up, it means uh, famous or renowned yeah. men. Yeah, Those I believe, are the Israelites. Is it Hebrew? Okay. I think the Hebrew word there is Napoleon. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Well, say what you said again. But, uh, when you look at that word up, it, it says, uh, it means famous or renowned. Those are talking about the Israelites. When it says, when it jumps to uh, the giants, it's talking about the same people, okay? And I have a precept if I can read it. Uh, we got, we got, we got, so, verse 4, six, uh, Genesis 6 and 4. There were giants in the earth in those days. So the giants are the same as the sons of God, okay? But they're just men of mighty stature. Yeah, yeah. but they're just describing the same people in a different way. Exactly. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. Mm, men of yeah, renown. Men, they were famous yep. for, for whatever acts they were doing. It doesn't describe the acts, it just, they 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 commit uh, mighty mighty acts yeah. whether it was war, uh, wrestling a, a beast or something, yeah. you know. And we know um, I know the brother's gonna get it 